Hello everyone, this is Pomum, bringing you part 9 of my Fire Emblem Birthright Iron Man. No, 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 I'm lying. This isn't part 9, right? This is part 8. Yeah, okay, this is part 8. Sorry. Uh, I hope my audio sounds better if it doesn't i'm not going to do any more experiments i'm just going to go back to my original audio as you were probably able to hear in the last ones uh, my, my experiments didn't go so well uh it's been some days since i last recorded so i i came into the my castle and i got some free stuff because that's how my castle works i bought some Healing, I got the Daikon Radish, I think that was on camera actually. A uh, Sunrise Katana that I don't have right now. A Monkey Spirit that is actually quite decent. Because uh, even if it has minus 4 luck, it has plus 1 speed. And plus 1 speed is yes, very helpful in some situations, you know. Oh, I wish I had just one little bit more uh, speed to double that enemy. Well, now you have it. And... I think I didn't get any new supports. I'm trying to build Nico Nico Nian Katsu support in here. I think it's not going to be worth it uh, to pair them together all the time, you know. It, it's enough to build it in, in the My Castle. Because I just want to to get it for, for reasons outside the uh, actual combat. Uh, and today as you were probably able to guess by the thumbnail or the title or something, we are not going into chapter 8. We're actually going to go into Paralog 1. Reason being, uh, I have a lot of units currently. I have a lot of units that I would like to train. And Paralog 1 is always a good option to train under level units. And I think it's from chapter 8 onwards that you start getting units that are much higher level compared to the ones you've got currently so if if i want mine to keep up with with the ones i'll get in the future i think giving them some levels in here is, is a good idea and also we will get a new unit that uh, getting her early is uh, is yes uh, recommendable uh so yeah faceless faceless Grr. Run, Mosu! Please, dear! Run and don't look back! Mother, no! Take my hand! We'll run together! Oh! No, Mother! <laughs> Did you hear that? Those screams! Something terrible is happening! We've got trouble! We've got trouble, alright! This village is under attack by the faceless! But this place has been ravaged! We're too late! No! Oh. There, there must be some survivors. With any luck, some people escape, but if there's even one left so here somewhere, let's get searching, everyone. Yeah, tragic start. Tragic start. I always felt this map uh, could have been called Late Arrival, like the one in FE6. Uh, you know the one, I don't want to spoil it in case you haven't played FE6. It's a great game, you, you should go play it. So here's Mosu. If you know Awakening, you probably know this class villager. Uh, ordinary rural, rural citizen, uses Naginata one force to fight, so like, oh, a civilian, not supposed to fight. But they have this skill, aptitude, that adds 10% to each stats odds at increasing one level up. This was actually nerfed from Awakening. In Awakening, it was plus 20% on each of the stats. It means Mosu has some very, very good growth. Her, her personal is actually quite decent too, recovering 10-20% of HP if starting on mountain woods, waste or field. So whenever she gets on the woods, she will recover 20% yes by, by that passive. Mosu is the, the epitome of a trainee unit, uh, which means getting her early it's a good idea if I want to ever use her. I don't know if I'm going to use her extensively, but... Uh... Okay, this doesn't look right. I don't think I want to take this use. Yeah, even 
like because this is an Iron Man, keeping Mosu at a decent level up in case I I can use her. You know, I have to keep all the units at a level where if anyone dies, I can pull someone from the bench and, and replace them. So I think getting Mosu early and giving her some levels, at least until level 5, 6, uh, not in this map, but during, you know, the earlier chapters, uh, could be a good idea. Now, I think I'm not bringing Kase. As I say, uh, as I said, I prefer Saito. I, see, I think Saito is also more interesting because we're in Berg, right? Kase, you have probably seen uh, being played in any other route if you if you played this game. Subaki, I'm not really interested in Subaki, but I am interested in Silas. I think Silas is a very unique unit in this game due to him being a cavalier. It's true that I made him less unique now i have two cavaliers with nico nico Ni. and orochi orochi is fun but um, i think she can stay behind because i don't have yeah there's nobody else that i would want to take out of my team now about the positioning um okay i don't know if we should divide or if we should like Felicia can stay there and you can go there and I think I think this is okay. And our objective in this map is basically to save the NPC Mosu and recruit her. M mother, my village. They are all dead. Alone. Nowhere to go and those monsters. They're coming back for me. All right, so faceless, another full of faceless map, which means uh, bunches of punches, no two range, yes. Right, one, two, one, two, okay, okay, I think this is doable. I can actually, yeah, I'm going to do that. With the plus one movement from Saizo, I can go here and not double. Not double, okay. Uh, yes, barely, actually. Because he has nine and I have seven. So I'm, I'm just one, one, one speed sword from doubling this faceless. But the steel shuriken will still do a lot of damage. Maybe I will get a lucky critical. Okay, no dice. And uh, Ring Cow Hana, I, I can use Hana, I think. Alright, with the Iron Katana. Good. I think this is a very, very, very good start. This way we can deal with this guy with Hana. And about this side. I really didn't think about it. Uh, I'm going to put... I'm going to move downwards, actually. I'm going to ignore them. And if they want to come, then I will use Rinka to block them. Rinka also wants to get damage for, you know, later into the into the map. She wants to get that boost in, in damage. Yeah, okay, some of the enemies on, on top are crazy. So, if you're aggressive... Uh, means this, this is probably a good point to put you at. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, this is pretty safe and you, you have to be somewhat aggressive in this game. You have to go downwards, even if it's risky. So I'm going to be very aggressive here and do it like this. Yeah, and I'm going to take on uh, two faceless with Nico Nico Ni. It's true that so there are some dual attacks, but I think we should be okay. A bit of healing to Felicia. Felicia is like level five. She's actually staying a bit behind. Yes, due to me considering she's too far ahead, so... 
And... Oh, I didn't give you an actual lamps. That's a bit stupid of me. You only have the javelin. Actually, if this misses, it could be a problem. Alright, uh, I, I do want Silas to raise his lamps rank a little bit. I think C rank is good enough for for the early game, but the rank is a bit low. There is a lot of interesting weaponry on C rank that I would like him to to have access to. Okay, Rinka takes only five. Yeah, perfect. This increases her damage. Now she does ten to the faceless. Okay. No problem, no problem. We don't even kill them, but like, I should have been using the the Naginata. Firstly, because I want to train the lances, and second, because uh, I can actually now switch between. You see, there I have ten defense, three resistance. When I equip the brass Naginata, I have twelve and five, because this gives me plus one to both defenses. This one gives me minus one, so I still have the avail the adaptability that I got from uh, from the Dragonstone just to a very, very much uh, inferior no level. Okay. Come on, Saiso. And he can always get a critical. Having 5% on base is pretty insane, but that's what you get when you have 14 skill. And the Brass Naginata is enough. Is enough. And I take much less damage. So I will do exactly that. Then with a pair up from Saiso, I should be able to move. Uh, because he gives plus one movement. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're we are still a bit short. Breaching. But yeah. And I can even give Sakura's passive. I break this bloom. Uh, Festal, but I brought another one. And she has D rank, so she can now use the Sun Fest. Okay, you can't reach it there. And I think um, I'm going to divide these two. I heal a bit too much. Okay, not good damage. Dual strike from Hannah is also not good news. Of course, I dual strike with Hannah because I have C support with her and no support with Saito. I should have uh, realized that. But now I think I can probably kill this dude. We go down to. Uh, maybe I'm a bit short. Maybe I'm a bit short, but 12? 13? No, perfect. Perfect, perfect. I thought Felicia would do only one with the dual attack, but it was actually very well calculated. And... Okay. So here... There's a lot of tricks you can do like this. For example, switching to the Yato, yes for the assist, to be higher damage, but this is still not enough. Oh, I have the, the Kodachi. The Kodachi. Just for situations like this, I brought a throwable sword. I think throwable swords were a bit of a of an unnecessary boost. A strength and a skill. Okay. I do want your strength getting a bit higher. Uh, I could take this skill. I can. Okay, do I want to give it to you or to you? You're actually only level 6, so let's give you the javelin kill. Then I can probably reposition you so you are blocking that way. I move here. I separate these two. And let, let's take them on with Hannah because Hannah doesn't kill. 
I mean, it's in a bit of a weird situation with Silas. Uh, he's a very good tank. I can immediately use him. He's very useful, but... Because I want to train lances and I didn't give him a good lance. Uh, his combat is not the best if I want to, to keep training lances, you know what I mean? Alright, uh, so let's just take this one. Perfect. I think it's pretty obvious what's going to happen. Let's escape and we get level 7 on Silas with the skill speed lack difference. Okay, tankier, speedier, which is always good news for Silas. He does struggle a bit with that speed. That's why I gave him Hane just in case. I didn't think he was going to get double, but... Speed on Sakura, though, has been really good. Like, 9 speed already? That's uh, higher than Silas at that level. She doesn't have a lot of uh, magic, which concerns me. And... yeah. Let's talk. Are you okay? Are you okay? Uh, alright. <laughs> no, my mother, my friends. I'm here to help. Where are they? My mother will not take my hand. She's, she's. I'm so, sorry. I'm so sorry, but there's no time to grieve. Not now. Stay behind me. I'll keep you safe. No, I have to fight for mother, for all my friends, for everything those monsters took away from me. Uh, do I pair up here? Uh, hmm. Is this a good opportunity to train Mosu? I never know. I never know. I honestly never know. Uh, let, let's just switch and separate here. That's still uh, some type of game. Good thing is I brought a ninja. I have a ninja this early. I don't have to rely on my butler or someone who is occupied providing healing. So I can weaken the enemies for Mosu to kill. Mosu is level 1, so she will gain a lot of experience by killing Faceless. If I could bring her to level 3 or 4, I think that's enough for me to consider this uh, a win. A 1-1, one, one, five, 5 I think this is good. Like, I think between this, the hit from Rinka going down to 16, it might not be enough, but Felicia definitely doesn't get one shot. Mm, not the best level ever. Uh, okay, I, I did that too fast, but yeah. One damage short. Still, the guy is not able to kill us, so we are okay. Yeah, as I said, it's not able to kill... Felicia, Felicia even takes the kill for herself, taking no damage in the process. Let's just be careful here. Let's not put Hannah adjacent to Nico Nico Ni or else she will be the one striking. Okay, these ones are stronger. Because they don't take damage from Felicia's dual attack. D rank. Goof. Finally out of the breast club. Alright, 4, dual strike, weakening you, 14 health left, enemies are moving but not close enough, barely not close enough, okay, yeah this is definitely enough for me to take the kill with Rinka, 4, 6, 4, oh, 14, two. okay, yeah, sorry. Didn't count that right. That was a lot of damage coming from, from Felicia, actually. Okay. Now, how do I... Mm. Now that you are weakened, it's actually going to be a bit difficult not to kill you. Can do five. Okay, okay, this is very good. The Kodachi never crits, and the Brav Naginata doesn't either. So that's a little bit of experience for Mosu, plus 
Okay, I'm going to trade you 85-95. No, I think the Armor Slayer actually loses hit if the enemy is not an armor. There, this is a 100%. We take those. 53, okay. Another kill like this and... And yeah. And, and it will be another kill. Uh, there's not else to say. I do find that Mosu is a much more interesting unit in Conquest because in Conquest she provides uh, uh, the sniper class. If you reclass her to a sniper, she's actually the only sniper you can get uh, without, you know, weird stuff like. Uh, secondary class in in Corrin and, and things like that. So Mosu is a pretty unique unit in Conquest, one that I think is worth training under some circumstances. Now the ideal thing would be for me to be able to take the kill for both of these enemies with Mosu. This dude only needs a bit of weakening that maybe I can do... yeah? Okay. I can do it if I dance correctly. We didn't get the critical from Hana. That's perfect. Uh, okay, that's uh, an 87 plus a 98. I don't think I will miss. Very good. I will miss both, I mean. Level 2 for Mosu. Strength, speed, defense, rest. As you can see, a good starting level up. Not a lot of HP on Mosu. Her strongest stats are actually luck and skill, which I'm surprised she didn't get. Let's dance for Mosu. I maybe should have considered my options before going for the dancing. And now... Oh, even if Mosu is the one st uh, striking, I get the kill. But probably, yeah, I don't get the kill with Nico Nico Ni alone. Good. Okay, yes and nice. Uh, feeding kills chapter. Iron Katana, which is pretty accurate. Silas could still take it from here if everything else fails, but I have a 100% on Hana. So, we take that. And we hit. About this too. Yeah, I'm going to do this because even if it's less damage from Rinka, I, I think she needs the healing and she's going to take this anyway. She is going to do more damage after this, you know? Level 8 for Rinka with strength, speed, and defense. Oh shit. Okay, good Rinka here. Very good Rinka here. She already got a, a good level up earlier, right? 8 times 2. 8, 7. Yeah, that's not a kill. Unless you get a critical, of course. Okay. I'm not that interested in giving kills to Felicia. I think giving them to uh, Rinka is much more valuable at this point, especially with those levels. Missing a 96, good thing the dual strike was enough. Strength magic, skill, lack, rest. Well, sorry, sorry. And C rank. That's very good because now you can use flame shurikens, which use your magic stat. Okay, um... The situation is a bit more complicated now. I don't want to give so many things to you. How about... Um, the Daikon Radish does take away a bit of your defense, but... 
if we're still okay, we're sure you can. You should have healed there. Uh, maybe I still can. I can. I love for Asura. Goof. That's okay. And I guess I can put Hannah. Well, not a good idea because now he could do a strike with Hannah and he does. Uh, sorry for the probable cut there. Well, not probable, definitely. There was a cut there. But we keep up. So, none of the enemies are weakened because we assisted with Anna. That's a bit of a shame. But I can still... Uh... Weaken manually, if you will. Right. And now by putting Silas here with... I'm going to use the Javelin. No, wait. Do they have 9 speed? Okay, they are able to double. If I keep like that, so... Straight the Steel Sword, which doesn't weaken me. And let's kill you. Goof. That's level 6. Right, level 6 with luck and resistance. Where is your magic, Sakura? I'm not liking what I'm seeing. At all. That's not... Mm -hmm. Okay, 8. And we can take the kill with Moto again. Feeding a lot of kills to Mosu. I, I didn't intend this, honestly. As I said, I wanted to feel to feed kills to my units, but honestly, the enemies are kind of low level. Uh, my units are all around level 6, 7 anyway, except Nico Nico who's well above. Uh, okay, I have to hit both, actually. But I do. That's level 3 for Mosu, right? With skill speed, luck, defense, rest. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. Uh, like I said before, uh, she gets very good level, so I'm not going to be that surprised. She actually has a vulnerable. on. Nice. And... Okay, this position may be a bit difficult to go through with yes. Ring and Felicia. Uh, this guy is getting weakened. That's still good. I don't think... I, I also don't think this map gets uh, any stronger in Lunatic, so... This is just an easy map. So out for you to be able to fit Mothu in some ways. I do think it's much easier to fit Mothu in Birthrate. With the ninja and all that. And it just seems like I have better units and more units. Like normally in Conquest you would have what? Uh, Arthur, Effie, who doesn't have a lot of movement, uh, Elise, whose damage reduction is a bit more... Uh, it's, it's better damage reduction, but it's also more... Uh, like a higher requirement, you have to be closer. You have to be adjacent to the enemy for Elise's damage reduction to apply. Elise's personal is minus three damage received and plus one damage dealt, but she has to be next to the unit. Ooh. Nice. Okay. And I'm just going to put, yeah, you and you. Two of my tanky units. I'm going to give a little bit of heal here. And apparently I heal completely. Uh, sorry, uh, again, apparently everyone is calling me today. 
Uh, yeah, I think I think this position is very good. I don't think we should have any trouble with because the boss doesn't move. The boss is static, so you're going for Rinka. Rinka doesn't take shit for damage. She's actually tankier than Silas, which is crazy to me. Like she's normally tanky, but but that's uh, twelve defense is a lot. And. Um, can I do this? If the boss doesn't move, I go here and I still shuriken. Yeah, that's that's very good. Okay, easy feed, easy, easy, easy feed. And yeah, I can even go as far as to do this. Rawr. Nice quote, nice quote. Really reminds me of, of your... Oh, 22 HP. Perfect. Okay, here I might want to, to get actual units on the job uh, instead of just weakening with shurikens, because if not, it's going to take a long time. Saito can probably weaken and do damage. Oh, holy shit, okay, yeah. It has seven. And... Nico 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 probably... This place being inaccessible has always been stupid to me. Alright, okay. Okay, this seems good. Training a bit of the Brass Naginata, giving some extra weakening. Uh, actually, a level for Saizo, level level eight, with a skill and a speed. Speed is very good for Saizo, so I'm not even mad. It's only two stats. What are you doing, Mosu? You only do two and one. Well, oh, okay, okay. It's because it's the Kodachi. I was about to say. Whoa. Uh, can someone give her luck? Well, if she goes at it from here... But there's still that 1% that I don't like a bit. Don't think you give luck. You definitely give luck, but... Right. Oh dear. Oh, that's actually a lot of damage, Rinka. Rinka boots? And this is with the Brass Club. What if I give her an actual weapon? Okay, Rinka doing too much damage. Not something that has ever happened to me before. Iron Dagger. We can infer their plus Rinka. That's a kill. Anyone to heal? Yeah, okay. Uh, easy map. Easy map. Not that I expected to have trouble, but normally if you want to fit some kills, you are going to run, run into some difficulties. No, this was yes, a straight up massacre of faces. Strength, skill, rest, okay. Nine strength already. Very good, very good, Mosu. Uh, 15 turns in Konikoni and Saizo. That sounds about right. We, we did take care of the first half and part of the second half. All right, we finished off the last of the faceless. But what do I do now? Took my mother, my life. Must be, you must have some family near here. We'll be glad to take you there. There's no one. I couldn't even start over here by myself. The homes, fields, so destroyed. I, I, I wouldn't want to stay here even if it wasn't. Everyone I call family is dead. Every house, a grave. Listen, Listen we'll take you in. We can't replace all those who you've lost, but we'll take care of you. Huh? I can join your group? Yeah. 
Yes, but only until we may we find you a safe place to call home. Our group, a family of sorts, is bound by a dangerous cause. We go from one battle to the next, ever in peril. That's no life for you. I'm not afraid. I can help you. I might even save you or your friends. Let me join your cause, whatever it is. I'll keep your family alive. Yes. Yes, of course. I have to admit, you sound like just like one of us already. I'll do my best. And I'll stay safe. After all, mother's watching over me now. Okay. So, yeah, a bit of an intermission, I know. Part of one, not the most exciting thing. You probably wanted to see how the story continues. But it's better to get it out of the way, get it out of the way in a, in a sense, uh, early. Or else it's going to pile up with the other parlors of the children and stuff like that. The six lily, the strength of speed, good. Not that it matters, because I think Lilith in Birthright can only heal. In case you wonder what the stats in Lilith are for, uh, there's a mechanic in this game called uh, mm, it, uh, Castle Defense. Ca castle Defense. And basically, you get enemies attacking your castle, and you have to defend it uh, by using this as an actual map. So the, the position of your buildings actually matters. I don't think I'm going to do those because they. Uh, Sakura, Saisu, okay. Ana Sakura, Ana Seal. Uh, all right, that's a lot of support. Uh, Niko Niko Ni Sakura. What is it about? I'm too sure I'm in perfect health. How could anyone dislike you, Niko Niko Ni? I don't know because he's fucking stupid. Is there anything I can do? Maybe you could practice talking to me. I can prove it to you. Okay, I think, yeah, it's about Sakura overcoming her shyness, which definitely makes it very good that there is a way to murder her. Uh, but whatever fates. Oh, this one is great. This one is actually great. I have the strangest feeling someone is watching me. Hello, is someone there? Saiso, I, I nearly jumped out of my skin. Why were you lurking in the shadows? Took you long enough to notice. If this was the battlefield, you'd be dead. What? Why would I be looking over my shoulder here in camp? And what in the world are you doing spying on me? Keeping a very close eye on you. Huh? It wasn't long ago that you left us royalty of no. How convenient that we should be drawn into your orbit now. The moment you try anything, I'll be the first to know. Uh, except you won't, because I'm, I'm not going to try anything. My brother didn't put you up to this, did he? This has nothing to do with Lord Ryoma. I'm doing it on my, up my own initiative. You see? This is a good example of supports not making any sense. Because Ryoma uh, is, is currently... Uh, my A. So, how would have he have been ordered by Lord Ryoma? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. But okay, this year's supports clearly were written by people who knew nothing about the the plot. They just were given a set of all these characters like this. We fight side by side. I'm not prepared to trust you. If you take one step out of line, I will act the court. Is there anything I can do? Prove yourself to me. Keep pose like this, that's classified. I'm watching you always, even when especially then. So I said, wait. Oh, okay, I can't see you, but you, you are not gone, right? You're still watching, Saiso? So? Gods. Uh, great one. And... Okay, two Hana supports. Nasilas. Don't remember this one. What was wrong in the battle? Are you are considered one of the best samurai in Hoshido. I was excited. Wow, is Silas about to be very rough? I was a little disappointed. 
I mean, compared to you as a unit, yeah. First blows were surprisingly weak. They went straight to anticipate and counter the attacks from your enemies. He appeared and committed to the battle. Skip breakfast, usually a lot better. What are waiting for? I'm fighting for my Lich and best friend, Lady Sacred. And for the loyalty, Lady Sacred is served from the quality of your fighting. Wow, why, why is Sila so fucking rude in this one? He's normally like nice to a four. I'll let you say, Lady Sacred, if you're bitter about my words, let's see you prove me wrong in the next fight. Okay, this one started very aggressive. I kind of want to see more about that one because I I don't think I've ever seen that one. I, I normally haven't used Hannah that much, even if I like her. And Hannah Sakura. A moment. I mean, Lady Sakura, you don't have to be so formal. I don't like what I like when you speak to me like in the old days. Speak to me in a pretty formal tone. This, this is probably hard to translate from Japanese because I, I think Sakura speaks in a very formal way, you know, with a lot of uh, archaic Japanese mannerisms, you know, very... Uh, such a habit for me now. I just wanted to chat, okay? Before I became your retainer. You're so stubborn, you're snacking to soldiers' sparring sessions and train in the hills and fields. Since they're training more seriously than the soldiers who were actually enlisted. Always have to heal those injuries for you. Right, thanks you. Thanks so much for that. No trouble. It was that time you got lost in the mountain. You were following me, but then when I looked back, you were gone. It took hours for me to backtrack. I had got on a tree branch and you hadn't noticed when I fell behind. You've always been able to fixate on a goal and not lose your focus. I'm uh, really sorry. I'm very considerate. That's not true. It's good for me. I tend to be introverted. So I was thankful that someone like you brought me to all those places. Hope you always stay the same, Hannah. Never change. Of course. Are you saying I haven't changed from the old days? The inconsiderate days? Yes, I mean Sakura. <laughs> Sakura, one of the things I like about Sakura as a character is that she seems, well, she definitely is shy and, and kept to herself, you know, but she, she has like a, 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 how do I explain it? Like an aggressive side to herself, like uh, ma making some puns and, and poking fun at, at certain characters that she gets along with, like Hana or Tsubaki to a degree, Takumi to in, in her supports. And, and, and I think that's actually great because, you know, an introvert character doesn't have to be a stupidly introvert like uh, like Bernadetta is, for example. Shoot, sorry. So, uh, we're going to leave it here. Uh, we got Motu. That's okay. I mean, she's an option. She can only use the Brass Naginata right now. Uh, I will probably do some shopping because now Rinka can use better weaponry. Uh, but yeah, aside from that, uh, that's going to do it for today. This has been Pomom. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.